welcome to Info Simcoe. My name is Madison Fitzpatrick, and joining us in studio today are two very special guests, Barry Counselor Craig Nixon and former NHL referee Ron Hogarth. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good morning. Good nice morning. Good. Nice. Thanks for having us. Of course. So both of you have very different backgrounds, but you're here for one purpose. Tell us a little bit about why each of you are involved in the uh, home runs for the hungry for the Berry Food Bank. Absolutely. Um, I, I got involved, uh, I guess, going back three or four months ago in, in uh, initially speaking with uh, Sharon Palmer at the food bank and understanding their needs. And, um, and it kind of came uh, uh, partially as a result of the, the barn burner hockey game, which has been a great success over the years that uh, Ron has certainly been involved in. And uh, it, it's raised a lot of money for a lot of charities. And, and all of a sudden I thought, Hmm. Suggested to Sharon that maybe we should look at a, a similar event, only make it baseball or, or softball, and and maybe have one in the spring and and one in the fall. And and uh, so my role is uh, basically just to uh, to help promote it and uh, and encourage people to come on out and and see the game. It promises to be a fun day. Yeah. And Ron, so obviously you're not, uh, you know, shy to the sports world. <laughs> so the the game is going to be at a Barry Bay Cats game. Tell us a little bit about what your role is for the day. Well, my role is unfortunately we may have to go to the Toronto Maple Leafs Stanley Cup parade at the same day. Oh, <laughs> That's the maybe. Only thing, see, it's the only thing we're we're afraid of. It may conflict, but no, my role is just to to ha make people have fun. So I, at the Barn Bird of the hockey game, and I've done this across Canada, where I'll have a mic. And I'll be kind of like the roving reporter talking to people, and uh, it's 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 a fun event. We're trying to uh, make make it a fun day, raising money that is needed, and it's a baseball game. Uh, but more most importantly, is giving back to the community that I was born and raised here. And uh, you know, you, it's it varies. The old story has been baseball has been very very good to me. Well, life has been very very good to me, and you want to give back. And that's what we're trying to do with an event like this is get the people in the community to give back to the, and it's, it's tough times right now, as we all know, you know, we go to the grocery store. I mean, it's crazy the, the way thing is and uh, people are struggling. So we're trying to uh, raise money and help those people, but have a fun day as well. And that's my job to make people have fun. That's mm -hmm. incredible. Well, yeah. I'm super excited for it. Can you tell us a little bit about who else is going to be there? Yeah, well, it's uh, the Baycats are, are uh, you know, co-hosting it. Uh, they've been great to work with. Uh, basically, we're taking the, the Baycat team, kind of splitting them in half, and then filling each team with some, uh, some uh, local notable, notable celebrities, uh, sports folks, media folks. Uh, we've got everyone from um, the world's strongest man, Mitch Hooper, who you know, is a Barry guy who won the title a few months ago. We've got the Canadian lightweight boxing champion, Mark Smithers, uh, former uh, two-time world arm wrestling champion, Garvin Lewis, and, uh, and a lot of media folks are, are going to be playing, um, as well as uh, uh, pretty much all of our, uh, our both our federal uh, members of parliament will be playing, our uh, provincial MPP, Attorney General, as well as uh, Alex Nottle, the Mayor Barry, will be playing. and. Uh, uh, so we're, t you know, a lot of these people are, have, have uh, chosen to kind of step outside their element a little bit and uh, just all in, in support and it's all about just a fun afternoon and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Incredible. So can you tell us a little bit about how the actual day works and what people can do to either purchase tickets or bring in donations? I'm sure mm -hmm. the, the food bank is going to have something set up. Yeah, well, their, their van will be there. It's, it's not necessarily a, a, a food drive, but the van will be there. If people want to bring food donations, that's great. Uh, the best way they can support it is, is to buy tickets and uh, uh, <coughs> they can learn more about it through the website. Uh, uh, www.homerunsforthehungry.ca or, or just Google Home Runs for the Hungry Berry. Many different sites will come up, social media sites and whatnot, that, uh, um, and we want them to come on out and have fun. Uh, we're going to have uh, some you know, fairly major prizes we're giving away between innings just to, to give back and, uh, to, and to make it interesting. We have uh, uh, Kat Chabot, I don't know if you know Kat, she's a great uh, local singer who will be uh, singing the national anthem and also we've got a, a 40 piece uh, choir backing her up. So that should be an event in itself. And um, as I say, uh, you know, we're just uh, 
uh, crossing our fingers that the weather participates, <laughs> uh, which I'm sure it will, and um, the more the merrier. We, we want to fill the uh, stadium. Uh, if and we which do, stadium is it? Is it, it is at the Vintage Throne Stadium at the Barry Community Sports Complex in Midhurst, where the the Baycats uh, home field, um, and um, uh, Saturday, May six, games two o'clock. So come early, make sure you get a seat. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So Ron, so why why is doing an event like this so important to our community? Um, well, uh, we we do need the support. The food bank definitely needs the support. And uh, I've, you know, I'm, as they say, born and raised, I've been involved in many charities. It's a great feeling when you're there and you're, commu you're, and you're donating your time or your, your money, you know, that the, these people that have come, uh, it's, it, it's a great feeling to, to do that. When you walk away at the end of the day and we've raised a substantial amount of money and helped people. Uh, and I think that's really what's important is that uh, uh, my mother and father taught me you got to treat people the way you want to be treated and so if you treat people good uh, you know it's such a great feeling and coming out to an event like this uh, having fun uh, as well and uh, you know getting and the other thing too is that w my job will be is to kind of make it personal so I'm going to be talking to these sports people talking to the mayor talking to the politicians and of course I always like to make a little fun of them so it's a fun <laughs> a fun time for that so it's very important to do to meet these people there you know you see them doing their jobs but now you're going to be even kind of a, up close so it's right. going to be great that way right. mm -hmm. well thank you both so much for being here today i'm super excited for the event i hope you get a lot of people coming out and especially yeah supporting the berry food bank thank Terrific. you for having us thank, thank you. you for having us yes join us next time for more info simcoe